Welcome everyone, I am back. I've been working a lot, that's why I haven't been filming. Today is a Saturday and that means I'm filming a video. So um, I'm gonna try to, you know, film it, edit it very quickly and then upload it. Today I'm also trying out my new microphone, so let's see how this is gonna work out. But I'm very optimistic um, and I guess I shouldn't touch it because, you know. <laughs> and before I move on to this segment of the video, I want to remind you that I do have Patreon. Uh, my Patreon is focused on learning Serbian, so if you're interested in learning a bit about Serbian language and culture, then you can subscribe over there. Here I focus on various things, so not only on Serbian language, so um, yeah. That's just as a reminder, if you feel like that will benefit you, then you're welcome. As always, the links are gonna be in the comment section below, so check it out. So Serbian movies, what are these? The reason why I want to recommend some Serbian movies is because if you're interested in learning Serbian, then you definitely need some sort of an input. Input should be interesting to you and it should be, you know, probably it's better to be naturalistic, but sometimes you just don't have that option. So you just want to check out what's online, what you can find. So the movies that I'm going to list are going to be very, you know, different in a sense that depending on what you like, so you're going to see if there's something that you find interesting. They're going to range from drama to comedy and just like, you know, light movies, but also something with some very heavy topics. So that's up to you to choose the ones that you are interested in. All these films, all these movies I've actually watched. So um, that's the reason why I'm reporting them. If, however, you know some Serbian movies, Movie that's very popular that you would suggest uh, the chances are that I'm saving it for the next part of the video so like sometime in the future I'm planning on reporting on that one as well like suggesting it to other people um, there is also a chance that I haven't watched it because I'm very bad with Serbian movies I've usually watched you know like Hollywood movies like all my media was just you know definitely not Serbian. I wasn't surrounded by Serbian movies or series that much. Take this, you know, just as a small list where you can start and uh, yeah, you can build up later on. Okay, let's start with the list. The first movie is Zona Zamfirova. Zona Zamfirova is a name, um, well, first name and last name, and basically it's based on a novel by Stevan Stremac. Um, and it also became a very popular movie. It's basically a comedy, it's like a rom-com, rom I guess. Um, it is situated in the southern part of Serbia, which is um, in the town, I think in around the town of Niš or in, I'm not sure, but yeah, the town of Niš, um, and they use a specific dialect. So sometimes it's gonna be very difficult for you to understand. So maybe you're gonna need some subtitles. So the timeline is somewhere um, around the beginning, well, the first half of the 20th century, where there is this girl and guy that fall in love. She's from a rich family. He is from a poor family. He's a craftsman. And basically these two do not go together, which means that he has to either give it up or uh, create a plan to win over her parents and her as well and this is basically what the whole story is about so if you're into watching a rom-com something very light very easy to grasp then uh, maybe that's the movie for you the next movie is the marathon family which is also called in serbian maratonci trče počasni krug um, and it's a very dark comedy basically it talks about a family that's been dealing for generations already uh, with coffin making so they're you know uh, dealing with coffins and um, the youngest son is actually the first one who declines and does not want to continue with this business and um, he has his obviously love um, and things over there do not go that well and there's this whole you know basically kind of reminds me of a bit of a telenovela but there's like so many tragedies that happen but at the end of the day it's very funny so if you're into something like that 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 uh, might be of interest to you again a very 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 famous movie so check it out okay let's talk about the third movie it's another comedy but you know there's some truth to it we are following lives of people in belgrade and they have their own weaknesses um, and they are all guilty of at least one of the seven deadly sins uh, like wrath and gluttony and pride and lust so on and so forth and um, there's always like a specific story to for each deadly sin and i don't know it's just portrayed very very real but also uh, in a very funny way so you're gonna enjoy this one and of course we're gonna have to have a movie about some war this one is called pretty village pretty flame or le pasel le pogore um, and it talks about uh, the bosnian war and basically the plot is we have 
soldiers, Serb soldiers that are trapped in a tunnel and they're contemplating about their lives, about their, you know, um, previous years and what the war brings them and how they, some of them turned against each other uh, and before they were friends. Okay, this one is a cult movie. It's called We Are Not Angels, Minismo Angeli. Again, a comedy. I really, really like these type of movies. They're just like you made me laugh. In this one, you have many pop culture references. So everyone, I am sure that any Serb is gonna know this movie. Uh, it's a story about a um, guy in, I guess, Belgrade as well. Yes, in Belgrade. I'm just looking at the script. Um, and uh, he's basically a playboy. And um, he... Uh, one night has a one night stand obviously and uh yeah he impregnates this one high school uh girl and she ends up keeping the baby and it's just uh, about what he's gonna do as a man what is the morally right thing to do what is the right thing to do for him um and um during this journey he is guided by an angel and a devil and obviously if you put these two together it's um it's just you know the funniest thing ever I have to talk about this one because it's the newest film that I've watched and I'm so bad with watching Serbian movies as you already know um, it's called Montevideo Boktevideo which is Montevideo God bless you I guess this is how they translated it and again it's um, it's filmed very differently obviously it's very well filmed and it talks about Yugoslavia and a soccer team and how like the story of not each player but many players how they got together and how they got to go to Montevideo in Uruguay um, and then there is a second part where's the second movie which I haven't watched but I'm definitely gonna watch it these days if I can find it here in Germany um, and yeah so it's a sequel and uh, the sequel talks about the whole, you know, the whole charade or the whole competition part. So, um, and as far as I remember, we got a bronze medal. So that was quite a success. If you want to know something about Tito, Josip Broz Tito or time um, during his reign and um, and I'm, I guess many people know about him as well. So you should watch a movie called Tito and Me, uh, Tito Ya, which talks about this one little kid, a bit, you know, um, chubby and he's living with um, in a house crowded with his parents with his cousins and it's just like a very tough situation um, for Yugoslavia and his family hates Tito but he idolizes it because this is the only thing that he learned in school and then uh, after writing one essay on the topic of uh, why he likes Tito he wins a trip and where he finally meets Tito. So uh, the whole thing, again, is just full of humor. So if you're up for that, then that's, that's a movie for you. One of my personal favorite movies is Barking at the Stars, Lion in Zvezde, again, a comedy. I guess my next part is gonna be just like about like dramas, thrillers or whatever, because apparently I love comedies. Um, and yeah, it's a story about high schoolers, their final year, the final month, I guess, or like the final weeks. And, you know, there's a lot about romance and uh, how funny the whole situation is, the teachers, um, how they, uh, how friends, friendships function um, and reminiscing, I think it was like 20 years afterwards, um, how, how it all went basically. And uh, it's just the, uh, a classic a classic you have to watch it a very very funny movie the last one that i have if you're into romance this is for you it's called uh samatsu braku which is alone in a marriage i guess something like that i don't really know how they translated it uh, the reason why i'm mentioning this one is because it's based on a book by miriam which is She's kind of like a Serbian Jane Austen. And um, the reason why I'm mentioning it is because you can find it on YouTube. So you can just write down Sama Tsubraku or, which is, well, let me explain it like this. Uh, you can find it online as a series, which is, you have like 10 episodes or something like that. But if you're like, I'm not interested in that, I just want like short, the same story, but just shorter in one hour, then you can type in Kad Ljubav Zakasni and I will link it everything below or like write it down or whatever um, and uh, yeah so you can enjoy that one as well pop some popcorns and enjoy Serbian hopefully this is gonna help you and I don't really know where you can find these movies that's why I kind of wanted to give you at least one that's available online so um, I hope you're gonna enjoy them hope you're gonna learn something a bit hope you're gonna learn something about the culture as well and just you know just have fun with it um, and stay tuned for part two